I was driving here. Mm -hmm. My arrival time was three minutes before I wanted to get here. Yes. Traffic gets all backed up and it makes me, it says I'm going to be one minute late. So you know what I did? You know what I did? What? I went, eh, screw you, GPS. I know the streets better than you do. And so I took a different route that I know would work. Got here two minutes earlier. If I had followed GPS as usual, I would have been late. Take that, technology. Up your butt, chat, GPT and AI. Old man yells at technology. Yeah. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I am Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us Twitter, subscribe and like button. And today we have a new Malayalam trailer that No, dropped. we don't. No, we do. Uh, and it's called that. It's called Adujivitam. And I believe it translates to, or the English title is Goat Life. As in greatest of all time or comparable to Actual sheep. Actual goat. Goat life. Ah, it's probably a documentary about shepherds. Um, so basically there's a, there's a whole story behind this. Um, this trailer got leaked. Uh, and the only reason I'm reacting to it now is because the actual director has released it because it got leaked. So it, Assholes. Yeah, right. Uh, so this is what it says. Yes, the release was unintentional. No, it wasn't meant to be leaked online. This film, The Goat Life, unfinished work in progress. Trailer made exclusively for various festivals around the world. Hope you like what you see. You can really screw up a lot of things for people who've worked really, really hard by stealing and leaking stuff, assholes. But it's apparently a very anticipated film. Uh -huh. It's taken him... Apparently a very I think somebody said like the director's 16 year journey with this film is somebody what somebody says uh, it's an adaption of a very celebrated Malayalam novel uh, it's a dream project of this director um, Which makes it all the more heinous that somebody would leak the trailer um, oh man the movie took a weenies I just anyways but it's supposed to be like this uh, it has I think Prithi Raj in it Oh, awesome. Uh, and it's A.R. A. Rahman mm. uh, music. Uh, and other than that, I don't know anything. It, there is some dialogue, but very little, and it's not subbed. So most of it's just visual for the for the thing. Um, so uh, I've been told you'll be able to just understand. The actual film itself isn't leaked, right? No. Okay, great. It's just the trailer that got Good. leaked. Good. Uh, and I don't think there's a release date right now, but it's supposed to come out sometime this year. Mm. Uh, but it's apparently a very highly anticipated uh, high artistry kind of film. awesome dumb i would assume then he's probably submitted it among the festivals to yeah, yeah, yeah. can i don't know and announcements for that come out on the 14th of april so yeah. um uh anyways here we go <laughs> what is this game of thrones Visuals are beautiful. Oh, lovely shot. Roja-esque, the, the flutes behind it.
to die. Wow. Yeah, that's a shot right there. Well. What a fascinating trailer, man. Uh, wow. It, it looks high Look. level at every, at every, uh, the, the cinematography on, like, just the, the shots <coughs> were just <coughs> incredible. And you don't normally see something like that. At that level and such, I don't know how, what the budget of this, but I'd imagine it's not huge. Mm -mm. Usually artsy films aren't. No, the money goes into the cinematography yeah. and, uh, the, but and the proper casting. And man, that was wonderful. That I, is I would see utterly fascinating. Right now. Um, uh, yes. If we ever, I mean, when it ever it comes out, I just highly doubt we actually get it uh, here. It depends on the legs it gets on the festival circuit. Sadly, yeah. it, it, I mean, it's just, it's the nature of it. looks like something it. that would be Oscar uh, kind uh, of. Uh, hunt. That's my hope. My hope is that this would do really well on the festival circuit starting with Cannes in mm -hmm. May. And we would hear about it getting all this attention through all the festivals so that a distributor picked it up by the fall. Mm -hmm. And then it would get legs moving into Oscar season. Uh, so it, if it's worthy of that, from the trailer, it looks like it's going to be that kind of a film. Somebody on Twitter, because I asked about because it, it was, I was I saw it all over my timeline. People just posted. I was like, what is this? And mm. I, people told me it got leaked and blah, 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 which is, once again, awful. I'm sad they didn't get to release it when they wanted right, to. Right, exactly. Um, but Prithi Raj. Our, our lead in this uh, apparently lost 25 to 35 kilos. Whoa. Uh, which I don't know how much that would be in pounds because I'm a dumb American. That's here. I can give you the exact ratio. 25 to 35 kgs. Yeah. Not kgf. Um, so. How much? 25 to 30? 25 to 35 is what it says. Yeah, I was going to say whenever I think kilos, I double it and that's about right. So it's, it's anywhere from 50 to 65 pounds. Whoa. Yeah. That's a ton of weight, especially if we're talking about him being of average weight, which I believe he would have been. So he probably got, we're talking Christian Bale skinny in, uh, what was that film where he got terrifyingly small? Uh, yeah, um, where he's working in the factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fighter. 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 fighter yeah. I mean, he does that all the time. Yeah. It's very unhealthy. Not, but that one, if you've never seen Christian Bale in Fighter, you want to watch a body go through a transformation that concerns you, yeah. Bale, and he looks one step into the grave in that film it's so funny because there's so many different actors that have different you know thought processes and yeah into certain yeah. roles and none none are right none are wrong exactly it's all if it works it works for you obviously some are very unhealthy mm -hmm. even if they do work yeah they're um but you know that's up to the actor to decide if that's worth it to them correct um you know I, i'd like to think you'd I, I would do something like that obviously it just depends on you know a lot of factors, but then there's like Gary Oldman. He was like, "Yeah, I wasn't going to get fat. There, mm -hmm. technology for a fat suit, and that didn't inhibit his uh, performance of Churchill <laughs> right <laughs> at all. Hour. <laughs> no, nor did it. Nor did uh, as, as long as you've got. But it, I guess you could. We've reached a place with technology now that you could do yeah. emaciation without the physical demand, but so much would be missed. For example, if I was given the if I was given the opportunity to play a role, say like this thing where you're going to be in the desert and you, you're, the characters got to get extraordinarily skinny, the two options nowadays would be, oh, you can put a green screen thing on me and you can superimpose a CGI body, but there's so much you would you would miss in the physicality that affects your mindset as the character for believability that I think it would be it would be yeah, I would at least to lose that much weight. That's is... that's you need to do that under medical. I'm sure that was done with medical supervision. Hopefully. But That's as crazy. far as the trailers, can, there were so many shots. It's so, so clear from the trailer that the amount of attention and love to create this is, to coin the word, elevative, which is the highest compliment I can give to artistry because that to me is the penultimate goal of f fine art in all expressions is to be as exceedingly elevative as possible in all disciplines to express the human condition. I I'm excited for this movie. That can't be right. This must be a different one. Yeah, it's got to be a different different. Shot thing. in 3D? Uh, that's, that can't be that film. It's 
<laughs> World premiere at Cannes. That would make sense. <laughs> I, I just pulled it up on Wiki. It says, this film is shot in 3D, which would be weird. This doesn't seem like a shot in 3D. Yeah, that would be... Ver- that would be... A very strange. Uh, it's planned choice. to have a worldwide premiere at 2023 Cannes Festival. That would make that sense. That makes sense because Cannes uh, wants to be the world premiere. It's scheduled to be released in theaters of the fall of 2023 sure. and IMAX. I mean, it was beautiful. So if it is on IMAX, that'd be. I doubt we would get IMAX. Here. Well, it'd probably with, only be in Kerala. With the name recognition of the star Raj, and, and yeah. the composer. Um, and for people in the know of international cinema, they would know the director name. Uh, I want. They may already have distribution. Maybe. Uh, I mean, if if we get it, I mean, I don't want it in three D, but if we get an IMAX, just the visuals off I, of that. The visuals awesome. are yeah. What it reminded me of. We didn't get Poth on in IMAX. No. So, like. <laughs> but what it reminded me of visually is, and I don't mean this just in terms of the terrain being the setting. I mean this in terms of the terrain being a character in the film. It's so prominent and important. I had the blessing of seeing Lawrence of, of Arabia for the first time in a re-release at the Cinerama Dome. Mm. And I remember at intermission, because it's a long film, it's almost four hours long. Yeah. I remember at intermission talking to somebody out in the lobby who they too had never seen it except on the big screen. And we were talking about how we we were getting a drink mm-hmm. because being in the desert for the first two hours, we genuinely felt thirsty simply from the visuals being so compellingly real. This was what film? Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, I haven't seen that. It's a magnificent film. I know, film. yeah, but it's like four hours, right? It's four hours long, Yeah, but it is a magnificent film. I think film. I was actually, we were scrolling, trying to find something to watch the other day, and I just settled on Pretty Women, because I'd never seen Pretty Women Oh, before. you'd never seen Pretty Women? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was adorable. It's a cute film. Uh, but anyways, uh, I was like, oh, Lawrence of Arabia, I've never seen that, obviously, and Seth has. She's like, it's an amazing film. Yeah, it's cool. Gl- and then I looked at I was like, holy shit! Yeah, it's, it's, almost, <laughs> it's almost four hours long. <laughs> And I have twins, and so no. I can't stay up that late. Uh, and so we did. You got to watch it in chunks. But also, I the same thing because uh, just came up right after. That. I think it was on the old section, the classic section. But Ben Hur, the classic, magnificent film. I'd also never seen that. It's over three hours. Has. Yeah, it's like a almost four hour film as well. I was yeah. like, holy cow! That's that's the price of admission. As a, for those of you who've seen it or you, you've, you've heard, the price of admission on Ben Hur is the chariot sequence yeah, because yeah, that yeah. was one of the first extraordinary action sequences ever caught on film. Yeah. And when you consider the reality of it's a real chariot. I mean there's no computer generated yeah, anything. Maybe, yeah. I'll, maybe I'll watch it like a like a series just That be that's a, doing those that are hour two or... good films. Yeah. They're very comparable. Um man, Peter O'Toole, those eyes on that film, the blue in the midst of all of that yeah. desert. It's a great, great film. Yeah. This looks like a great, great film. It does. Uh, I Very hope, excited. I hope it is. Uh, it, if there's other films by Bl- Blessy, is that how you pronounce his name? I would imagine so. Blessy? Cool name. Yeah. Um, that we should watch. Please let us know. Um, uh, I'm... I'm very much looking forward to this now. Uh, it, the, the trailer looks like it. If it comes out in October, like it says it might. Yeah. That's right around the time that it should be around for Oscar buzz and yep. and time. And um, obviously, it's a long year, so who knows what, what other films are coming out that we would think. Well, and the fact that they were able to say it's going to have its world premiere, they don't have to think about the announcements on the 14th. That's just going to be... My suspicion is they were waiting for that announcement from Cannes. Mm-hmm. On the 14th yeah. and to jump and piggyback on that announcement publicity wise with the trailer yeah. um, because they clearly have have gotten acceptance as have a lot of films. The, the debut of Indiana Jones is going to happen there as are a couple more that have been announced that you would expect to hear where they're going to get there. Now that something like an Indiana Jones, everybody's vying. That one doesn't have to be accepted. Yeah. Everybody's saying, please let us be the place of your world premiere. So I'm glad to know it's going to yeah. happen there. And I'm, I want to see it. Me too, man. Yeah. Let us know anything else we need to know down below. Josh!